Hi everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123. This is going to be a spend the weekend with me vlog. So I hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. Whew, okay, it's Saturday morning. I am on the bike, the exercise bike. Um, where should I cycle to today? Hmm, maybe I'll cycle to Manchester. <laughs> no, but I tell you what, this exercise bike has been such a life changer for me and Nathan as well. We've used it pretty much every day. Um, actually, I think Nathan has used it every day. It's me that's like had a couple of days here and there where I've not. But to be fair, the days I've not used the bike, I'm still doing lots of steps with my walking. But yeah, I do I do try and use it most days. But um, I have this thing now. It's like a, a weekend routine where I get up early, come down here while Nathan's still asleep, and just get on the bike, and do my thing. Um, I'll either listen to music or like, last weekend I actually did like a live stream while I was on the bike. So yeah, I thought this this weekend while I'm on it, I'll start my vlog, which I'm doing now, obviously. And I've got a couple of messages from my friend to listen to. She's left me some messages on Facebook Messenger, like little voice notes. So I'll listen to those. Then I'll reply. Um, and hopefully by the time that's all done, I can get off of here. <laughs> Um, I'm on it varied times, you know, it always depends on how I feel. Um, like sometimes I do a longer session, other times I'll just, just do a quick short session, like it just depends, I'll go with the flow really. I never want to get to a point with the bike that I'm like pushing myself or making myself ill, do you know what I mean? Because I'm silly like that. When I used to go to the gym back in the day, I used to go mad and I'd come home and just feel absolute crap. So. And eat. I don't, <laughs> this would be the weird thing. Like, I used to go to the gym, do really, really well, burn loads of calories and just go mad. Then I'd come home and I'd be so hungry. I'd be like, no, 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 no. Defeated the object, really, let's be honest. So, yeah, I just do what I can now and, you know, walk a lot. And But, yeah, so I'm on my bike. Um, hopefully it'll be a nice weekend and better than the week that I just had. What an awful week. It's just been horrible, like, seriously. To be fair, the last sort of few months ever since mum passed away have just, ugh, just been crap, basically. Um, I know I've had some good times during that time, like obviously Christmas was nice, weird, you know, because mum wasn't here, but it was nice. Made the best of it, and, uh, you know, I don't walk around crying every single minute of the day. I can have a few laughs and do things that are, you know, routine and normal, but overall, it's been crap. It's been shit. Um... I'm trying to, I'm trying to sort of live this normal life, get into a routine, but also deal with grief and the pressures that different things that need doing, um, and obviously pressure at work and just just everything. Everything feels like it's on me and this pressure, and I don't cope well with pressure. Uh, my anxiety levels have been so bad, so bad this week. Um, I keep getting these horrible like anxiety panic attacks when I'm out which you know I've suffered from anxiety and panic attacks over the years but normally it only comes on when I'm like super nervous about something or I'm in a situation that I know is going to make me anxious um, you know, for example if I've got to travel somewhere or whatever I'm like I can feel the panic attack and... but this has been happening just random places like it's horrible I'm like in the middle of a supermarket like Sainsbury's where I go every week or walking along the high street where I'm there all the time like and I just feel like a bit like headed I feel just total panic attack you know I know what panic attack is because I've had it over the years and then I have to try and calm myself down and you know and when it wears off I just oh, I feel like such an idiot I'm like why did I let that take over me but like I can't help it anyway so I've had that happen and then it's been a really shit week. So I not only have had these panic attacks a bit this week, but I've also been very, like, just over-emotional with everything. I think the longer it's gone on since mum passed, the harder it's becoming. I know everyone says, oh, it heals with, you heal with time and the grief, you know, is better in time, but I just, 
I feel like it's getting worse in some ways. I feel the longer I haven't been able to, looking at her photos, she's on the wall, on the mirror here. The longer I haven't been able to physically see her, talk to her, hear her voice, just have a chat with her and just everything about her. I just, it's hard, it's just so hard. But um, yeah, basically I had to go and pick up some medication this week and I was in the pharmacy where me and mum always used to go and they all knew her in there. She was quite a character. <laughs> and I went in there and there was this woman who come in. Now she didn't look anything like my mum. She was blonde for a start. But she was, um, <clears throat> she was a bit of a large lady. And she was wearing a black jacket and she had a walking stick. And I don't, honestly, I don't know what happened. I was sitting there and I saw the walking stick, I saw the black coat the larger figure, and I just started crying my eyes out. And it was really busy in this pharmacy, it was absolutely packed, there's so many people like waiting, and the staff, and I was just, and I, was, I was sitting there telling myself, like, stop it, like, stop crying, it's embarrassing. And I sort of stopped for like a minute, I was like, <clears throat> you know, wipe your eyes. And I just, I don't know, I must have caught a glimpse of her again, and it just started, and then I couldn't stop crying. I was literally, Oh, so embarrassing. I mean, I told Nathan afterwards, I rang him on the way home, and I said, oh, I'm so embarrassed. He said, don't be embarrassed. I said, but it's easier said than done. Like, I'm not embarrassed to cry. I'm not one of these people who's like, oh, I don't cry. I'm always crying. Like, I'm a proper, like, emotional wreck, cry. Right? <laughs> but I don't mind crying at home, you know, with Nathan, or on my own, or if I'm with a friend or something, that's fine. But when you're crying all on your own in the middle of a pharmacy, or any shop, it's just... I just find it so embarrassing but I couldn't help it and this is what's been happening my emotions are just like oh so anyway when I did I am in the kind of progr a process of getting some help like on a helpline or something counseling grief counseling but every time I go and ring them they're closed or the number didn't work and I was like oh. so I think one of the nurses is ringing me um I think this week to give me, and I'm going to tell her, like, I've tried this number, it didn't work, yeah. and this number's closed whenever I try and ring it. Oh, I just, I don't want face-to-face counselling, I'd rather on the phone, um, because I know what's going to happen, if I sit face-to-face -face with someone, I'm just going to bawl my eyes out, and I just sit there feeling really embarrassed, and oh, but then I think, can counselling actually help, like, no one's going to bring my mum back, but I suppose there are coping mechanisms that I need, and Oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's been a crap week, basically. <sighs> and then, sorry, I hope the sound of the bike isn't annoying. My little legs peddling. Um, then I had to have a blood test earlier in the week, which I was dreading. I'd had it booked for a couple of weeks, and I was like, oh, no. I have terrible medical anxiety, so I was like, no. <laughs> don't want to do it. <laughs> to be fair, I'd managed to get out of it for like four years. And by the way, which isn't a good thing if you need... You know, you do need to look after yourselves, but I don't know. I just avoid things. If I'm scared of them, I avoid them, which is my stupid thing to do, especially when it comes to your health. But that's just who I am. My mum was the same. Like, she didn't want to do things medically. I mean, she did, bless her. She was stronger than me, but I just, oh, I hate, I hate the thought of having the needle and then, oh, <laughs> waiting for the results. And um, anyhow, so I had all that this week. Um, I was very lucky, my friend Kelly come with me, who's, well, she's a friend, but she's more like family as well. If you're watching Kelly, hey. <laughs> but she come with me for the blood test, and to be fair, it wasn't as bad as I'd built up in my head. Like, it was a little scratch, and the nurse was chatting to me, and then it was, she was like, oh, it's all done. I was like, oh, okay. Um, so, you know, then it was the next stage of waiting for the results, and that's when I got, my anxiety got so bad, like, I couldn't bear it. Um, anyway, so I eventually rung up. So the results are fine, pretty much. Um, they're not perfect, but they're not bad. And I just got to, you know, my thyroid has stayed the same, like borderline, stay on the same medication. Um, my cholesterol had gone uh, lower, which is really good. So it proves that my dieting has got, like, you know, effect of my body, like it's helping. My cholesterol was lower than the last time they tested me, which was a few years ago. Um, but yeah, I just got to carry on, basically, with, um, you know, I told the doctor, you know, I sort of went, basically I got an appointment, I went to see him, because I was just in a state, and I wanted to know what was going on with the results, so they got me in to see the doctor and have a chat, um, 
and as you said, you know, I've lost half a stone, which by the way, yay, I've lost half a stone in weight since the beginning of January. Um, he said, oh, that's really good, well done. I said, you know, he said, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, so, yeah, I just, all medical worries all week, constantly thinking about the body and medical and just, oh. And then, to top everything else off in a really shit, depressing week, my beautiful goldfish, Wilma, I've had for like nearly 20 years, she got really, really ill again. So she got ill in December, just before Christmas. She was like swimming upside down and spinning and just like, oh my God. And we we actually thought like it was going to be the end kind of thing then. But I'd got this medicine at Pets at Home for swim bladder, which goldfish can get and it has that effect on them. That's what they do when they get it. Um, and medicine actually helps her. So we were like, yay, you know, she's all right. She had a little slight little, you know, slant when she tried to turn around in the tank but overall she was swimming straight again we were like yay but then this week the week of everything shit week i went upstairs to bed and i I'm always looking at wilma say good night and she was i don't know what she was in. she was upside down again she was spinning really fast she couldn't get a balance she was obviously stressing herself out and then she just laid like all bent over on her stones at the bottom of the tank and i was like oh god and I honestly, me and Nathan thought that this is it. Like, she cannot survive this. Like, she's really bad. And I, I didn't think she was going to last the night, if I'm honest. But somehow she did. <laughs> we did. We gave her a couple of water changes. I did um, go and get some new medicine, which we haven't put in yet. But we have got it if we need to. But we've done some water changes. And then um, Nathan looked up online you know help and stuff and lots of people in these like goldfish forums we've had them for years and stuff it said to try a little pea like a garden pea you know or a frozen pea whatever and so we went and got some peas nathan cooked them for her <laughs> bless him and he hand fed because she was laying she couldn't swim at that point he hand fed her these peas the part it's supposed to be like i suppose like a gaviscon to humans but a pea to a fish but anyway Anyway, so he changed the water, gave her the pee, made a fuss of her, made sure we were like talking to her and stuff. Next day I woke up and uh, she looks like she's, there's nothing wrong with her. She looks like literally nothing's happened. If you wouldn't have seen them days before, you wouldn't have known anything's wrong with her. And um, she's still got a slight tint, but little, sorry. But she, <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, what? So it's a miracle, you know? Um, like I'm I'm very not over religious, but I'm a religious person. I'm very proud to be Jewish, and I have my faith. And the night before, when I thought she was gonna go, I said to Nathan, like, "I know you're atheist, which he is, and I totally respect that, as he respects me, and my faith." But I said, "Can we just do like a prayer thing for Wilma? Because we both love Wilma." And he said, "You know, on this occasion, because it's something like this, he will." And we held hands. I said some words. He said some words, and we just prayed and. I don't know. Is it the miracle of the prayer? Is it the water change? Is it the pee? I don't know. But she's, well, touch wood. She kind of looks just back to normal. She's, you know, didn't eat for a few days because we had to starve her. Now she's eating again. She's eating fine. So it's like, what was that all about? Wilma, why are you stressing me out? But it was, you know, it's really sad and I know some people are a bit like, oh, there's only a fish, but to me, that's my pet, that's my baby. You know, it's the only pet I was allowed to have. Like, my mum wouldn't want a dog, she didn't let me have a cat, she didn't have any, any animal. Um, <laughs> so, she, she had a few reasons, like, because she, she didn't want me to get upset if said pet would die. She didn't want me to have a pet and have all, like, the furniture ruined and poo everywhere and the responsibility and all that so I can get where she come from but I do think it's nice for kids to have pets and then as an adult you know if you you've got a bit more knowledge of how to look after a pet so but the only like animal that I was allowed was a fish it was quiet it was in a tank it's cheap it's easy to kind of you know well, easy-ish to look after compared to other animals and so yeah I've had Wilma for like as I say like 20 years nearly and she's seen me in all my different you know, stages of my life and I don't know I'm just I love her so I, I know it's inevitable I know it's gonna happen and you know I'll have to be tough and strong and, and 
but I'm not ready to let her go. Not yet. I just don't want any time we get now of is, is is just like an added bonus, really. So basically, yeah, it's been a really bad week. So that's why I didn't vlog during the week because I was like, I don't want to vlog. I don't want to do it. <laughs> but hey, I'm here now. Weekend vlog. Um, so what have we got planned weekend? Well, I'm on my bike, obviously, doing a bit of exercise. Um, I don't know how many. Oh, I've done 125 calories burnt. That's good. Boom, shakalaka. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put my Pusheen t-shirt on here. <laughs> um, I'm actually doing it. In a, this is really random. Sorry for the information, but I'm in my knickers and a t-shirt because I was wearing really fluffy, thick pyjamas um, on my legs and they were making my legs so hot. I was like, oh, I can't do the bike with this. So I just took them off. God, what a vision. Um, anyway, so yeah, weekend, we've got some bits and pieces to do. We, um, I've got some eBay parcels to post, so Nathan's going to come with me to the post office. Um, I'm not going to go to town today. I was like, oh, I need a break from the town, um, especially on a Saturday when it's normally quite busy. So, yeah, we're just going to go to one of the local post office post offices and walk down there. Um, with regards to eBay, really quickly, I'm stopping doing eBay. Headline breaking news. Yeah, I I just I need to stop it because it's just every day like I think oh, I've got eBay work to do. I've got you know either going to the post office or packing it or putting listings on. Or, and you know I work longer hours now, work more days than I did. Um, and when I do get the free time, I feel like I'm just doing eBay at the post office. And the thing is, if it was actually making a profit for me like it used to back in the day. I'd be like, it's okay, I do it, extra money, I need extra money for this, 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 this. But I'm just not making much profit, if any. Like, sometimes, like, I make a loss each week. Things don't sell like they used to. Things that I would always buy, for example, I know, plus-size clothing, would always sell really, really well. Now, they're like, me. I'm lucky if I sell it for a pound. So, and also, like, charity shops where I get stuff from... The prices have gone sky high, and so I'm kind of paying, I don't know, £7 for a top and selling it for like £3. It doesn't really add up. And I'm having to do all the stress of packing, listing, post office. Like, what am I getting out of this? Nout. The eBay uh, listing fees as well. Like, it's just, I can't be arsed with it, to be fair. So, um, I said to Nathan, I'm going to quit. So, I'm going to get rid of, I've got like one bag, no, I've got two bags of stuff that I'm either going to bundle up. Um, Nathan's got a load of old shirts that he doesn't want, so I'm going to bundle them up, and I've got some clothes, like women's clothes, um, I'm just going to try, just get rid of what I've got, and then just that's it. I think the only thing I'll put on eBay now and again is, um, like, if I've had a book that I've read that's, like, limited edition signed or whatever, and I just want to kind of get rid of it, um, I'll try and put that on eBay, but apart from that, I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered anymore. Can't be bothered. So, yeah. I actually have a bit more free time after work to do what I want. And it's going to be weird, I suppose, like, because normally I go around the charity shops looking for eBay, like stuff for selling to resell. Uh, and now I can just go back to enjoying looking around charity shops for myself, looking for things for the house, looking for things like clothes for me, and, uh, you know, instead of just having it as a chore. So it's going to be weird, though. I'm so used to every Sunday putting the listings on, it, but, you know, it's, it's not worth it. Anyhow, but I have got eBay to do this weekend, as I say, just to kind of finish up what I've already got here, ready to go on. Um, a bit more sorting out and tidying this weekend uh, in the house, bit by bit. Me and Nathan are doing our best to just, you know, in here, there's big boxes. We've got more of those 100 litre plastic containers that we got, so they can put teddy bears in and have a bits and pieces that I've got. So I've got to do that at some point. Whether we'll do it this weekend, I don't know, but I've also got to um, sort out some drawers, cupboards and things because um, on Monday afternoon, no, Monday morning, our friend's come around, he's like a odd job man as well, and he's going to um, get rid of our um, little single bed in the spare room and a couple of, uh, like, a chest of drawers and stuff, so break them down, take them out, so give us more space in the spare room to put other bits and pieces like in storage while we're just sorting everything out. There's so much to do. 
and it's just all this pressure and it's only me and Nathan that do it like I just feel like it's just left to us we, you know who's else gonna do it um, so yeah a lot of sorting out again this weekend different bits and pieces but you know look slowly but surely we're getting there um so yeah what else I need to do some YouTube work because I'm really behind with all that maybe try and do a little bit of filming definitely got to do editing um I would like to just sit and have a read for a while. Um, I've started a new book, which I'll show you in a bit and tell you about, but it's really good. I really like it. So I just want to sit there with a cup of tea and just, just read for a bit, you know. Um, I might do some arts and crafts over the weekend. Uh, when we were sorting out the spare room, we found that big bag of crafts that I've got. And there's so many things I could just sit and paint and just do. Number one, it'll get it out of the house and gone. <laughs> Number two, it'll give me something to do that's relaxing, calming, not stressful. So yeah, I don't know. But, um, oh, tonight we've got gladiators. That's what I'm training for, you see. That's why I'm on the exercise bike. Da, 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 da. <laughs> That's my muscle. Um, no, we've got gladiators and we've got the masked singer which I love, love, love them shows. They're my Saturday night entertainment. Um, so that'd be good. But yeah, I don't know. Just try and relax. Try and be calm and get shit done. Is the ultimate plan for this weekend. Anyhow, I'm going to stop rambling for now. But carry on spending the weekend with me. And don't forget, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, the channel is slowly but surely growing in subscribers. Um, so I'd love it, you know. If it would carry on that way <laughs> so please subscribe to my channel um and i'll see you in a bit <sighs> workout done i feel very proud of myself 300 calories burnt first thing in the morning boom i definitely work out better in the morning than at night when i'm really tired and sleepy anyhow so yes i am now I'm having a well-earned breakfast. I just had some, a uh, little bit of mango, love mango, and I also have a cranberry juice over there in a glass. Just had my Weetabix. Um, if you like Weetabix, let me know. How many Weetabix do you have? Because I always used to have like three, and I was like, oh, is that bad? So now I've just got it to two, so I assume two is better than three maybe I don't know um but yeah so I had two wheat a bix a tiny tiny little bit of sugar because I just I just needed that little bit of sweetness in it um and now I've just got some toast with honestly look at this jam literally it's all I've got on it <laughs> it was slither back in the day when I was doing toast and jam like, I would just like slap it all on and no I'm literally just that <sighs> anyway but yeah so I'm just going to have something sweet. I'm watching an episode of Help. I'm in a secret relationship. I've watched this for weeks. So I thought, oh, I've got quite a few of them on the planner. So I'm sitting watching that. Uh, it's on MTV. It's a show like ba basically a couple's in a relationship, but one's hiding the other from their family members or friends. And um, the two presenters kind of delve in deep to find out what's going on. Um, so yeah, it's really trashy, but I like it. <laughs> so I'm watching that. Um, I forgot also today we've got to do housework. So yeah, housework day today as well. Um, but I keep saying to everyone, when I'm doing the housework with Nathan, it's not as bad as when I used to, used to do it on my own because like someone's helping me, and also we just geek off and have fun doing the housework if that makes sense. So and it gets done quicker. That's the main thing. But yeah, housework to do today as well. But yeah, I thought I just take some time out for me now. Done my exercise, um, watching me trashy shows, obviously and having something to eat and drink and I might have a little read if I get time after the show I might just sit and have a little read of my book um and then kind of get in the shower go out get ready blah 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 so I'll see you in a bit so I thought I would show you my current read it's by Meg Schaefer and it's called The Wishing Game how beautiful is this cover like seriously this is just beautiful Oh, and if you look there, look, there's a little lighthouse as well and the house and stuff. But look at all the books and that. It's just so cool. Anyhow, but yeah, this is my current read. It's really, really good. It's kind of like um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory retelling. But instead of chocolate and a chocolate factory, it's an author. And he's giving like one very lucky reader 
um, the chance to get his uh, new book. He's only made one copy of it. Um, so yeah, it's it's just really good. I'm really enjoying it. When I started it the other night, I was so tired and I didn't really get into it. And I was like, did I like it? Do I not? Um, so I re really kind of started reading it yesterday from the beginning. And I was a bit more awake and alert. And oh my God, I love it. Love the characters, loving the story. Um, and also obviously a book about books. Got to be a good thing for a bookworm. So yeah, I'm on page. Let's have a look. Uh, where are we? Ah, drop my bookmark. Get that in a minute. Uh, oh yeah, I'm on page 55. So yeah. I'm going to have a nice little read now. I've just watched my show. Ah, so I'm going to sit here for like half an hour. Just have a bit of reading time Wilma there you go look so she's swimming normal you would not recognize this fish a few days ago she was just laid on her stones at the bottom there all bended over and oh. you all right Bubba do you want breakfast yeah I'll give you a little breakfast hold on okay so I just had a shower and uh, I'm wearing my my little pony sweatshirt because I'm cool like that i um, not going to bother drying my hair. I'm just going to let it dry naturally. So, yeah, me and Nathan are just going to head out now. And then it's housework time. So we're going to start down here, then do upstairs. Yeah. And we've got the fridge to clean out as well. Great fun. You excited to clean the fridge? No. No? No. Do you want me to do it on my own? Yeah. No. You said you'd help me. Yeah. It's our fridge. Your Mostly fridge. my fridge. No, it's all your fridge. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to do all the chores when we get back. So, are you ready to go? Let's do, do this. <laughs> okay, so I've literally done all the kitchen on my own. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. Where were you? I had to go around the shop again. Why? Because we forgot the anti-back wipes and the kitchen roll. Yeah. So while I was away, you've blitzed the side stuff. Floor. I've got your legs and feet on camera. They are famous. <laughs> Show off your new, um, well not new, newish sketches. Sketches. I love the red on them. Yeah. They're nice, comfy, aren't they? Sketches. Comfy. Um, so yeah, kitchen, pretty much done. Yeah. yeah. Um, what we can do now? Lounge. Yeah. Or should we do the juice? No, because that makes mess. Oh, that's a shame. I've got a, a what's it called? Nutri Bullet juicer. Yes. What's it? Nutri Bullet. We're going to do apples today. Apples. Apple juice. Because yes. I want to see if pure Pink Lady apples will taste like the Marks and Spencer Pink Lady apple juice. Well, if we get the rest what's of the housework done, <laughs> then you can use Find that. out, yeah. Come on then, let's get on with it. Let's go. Right, I'm just going to have myself some lunch. I'm going to have this cauliflower cheese. Now, you might think, oh, that's really bad. That's really fattening. Actually, no. Because, look, orange and green and the colour thing. Um, and what was the... Uh, the calories, 268 for the whole thing. The whole thing, yeah. yeah. So, and I think that's quite good. That's not... No, I am so it. hungry. I think because I was on the bike so long this morning, I've made myself extra hungry. And I don't want to be, like, snacking. I've already had a naughty little biscuit. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, if I eat this now, it might fill me up for a bit. <laughs> um, Tide you over. Yeah, I can always have like a tea or something as well, and then I'll have dinner later. But yeah, I'm just so hungry. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave and then nom, nom, nom. All right, so I just did my photograph that I do every single year on this day. And then I put that photograph on social media. Uh, today is International Holocaust Memorial Day, where we, you know, remember people who lost their lives. And I do this every single year, just stand there with a bit of paper that says hashtag we remember and then you upload it to socials and you put the hashtags in and everything. I do it every single year um, and I'll carry on doing it because I do think it's important to use my platform to get that out there. Um, I wish more people did it, you know, when there's normal like other trends that go around and people are doing things and then hashtags and stuff, loads of people get involved. But I, I do feel with, with this, like I know a lot of people worldwide do participate in it which is great and some celebrities some just normal people but I, just, I, don't know, I just feel like there could be more you know there could be more people who sort of took part in this you know and paid respect but they don't so I always make sure every single year I would do this and use my platforms to you know get the message out there to never forget always keep learning 
and you know keep educating about what happened so yeah tonight uh, i think it's eight o'clock i'm gonna um light the memorial candle that we do on the day as well so uh yeah guess what time it is is it that time of day where we have to clean your fridge no it's not my fridge it's our fridge can you point out any of this is mine most of it's mine all of it's mine <laughs> <laughs> it needs a good sort out. Look at it. It needs a clean. It needs to sort out. Should we do it? Let's do this. Come on. Look at this really cute little carrot. It's like a two-headed carrot. Have you seen him, Bob? Yeah, I've seen him. It's so cute. Little two-head. It's weird, isn't it? I like it though. Right, so it's time for big reveal. Look inside. It looks amazing. Wow. Can I fit some of my stuff in now? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's had a, a fridge makeover. Yeah. Shall we show quickly what we got? So at the top, um, we've got some eggs. Uh, that's me apple juice in the uh, jug from the Nutra Bullet. Um, got some low-fat custard up there and a watermelon. Carrot a watermelon. Got my Pepsi Maxes here, some of them. What's that? I have a Fanta orange in case I ever get that random orange craving and an apple ties uh, for special occasions. I've got my Benacol I've been having. Um, I actually really like my Benacol. Yeah, it's nice. I've got Clover. I've got the little Skinny Bakery, uh, Victoria Pearls. I've got Apro Soya desserts. I need to get them, what are they called? Muller, the Muller chocolate, chocolate, chocolate Fix. They are really good. Yeah, you love them, you? I love them. I've got space in these if you want to put in anything look got two oh, empty some food finally yeah we have got two fridges no, can i just haven't. add we haven't That's we have yours. we've got two oh, fridges no you've got two fridges um yeah i've got my corn stuff in there and then down here um my cheese section so these are the little baby bell lights i've got primula cheese spread a few of these little um what are they called what are they called bub them little slight cheese slices Processing. process yeah um uh, meat free sausages i've got uh, meat free chicken and other chicken they're richmond um they're corn so i've got me sort of meat free goodies down here look at the healthy stuff i've got mushrooms i need to get some carrots yeah. i'm running low on the carrots um lettuce tomatoes got radishes in there more tomatoes open this bad boy up oh yeah i must have bought an extra cucumber because i've got like three now or yeah. two and a half um, they're so thick. I'm not being rude, oh, but no, look, look at the good. girth on it. <laughs> You've got some more stuff in the drawers there. Oh, God, got more stuff. Okay, uh, I've got some peppers, lettuce, and some broccoli. And then down here, a uh, massive cauliflower. Oh, I thought I had two. Mass oh, That's, they have a massive cauliflower. Okay, I was going to say, I, I know when I went to Sainsbury's, I bought two. So I've got cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage. What have we got over here then? So we've got conference pears. Oh, the kiwis. kiwis. I might try one of them in a minute. Oh little kiwi um ah more pink lady apples so they're gonna be for the juice Good the next stuff. time they'll be fresher look at these beautiful look they're massive these cauliflowers yeah, trouble is you've got to eat them all now before they start going brown oh i love cauliflower i could yeah. literally eat it every day yeah i love i love cauliflower. Well, you've got to have veg soon because you've got two giant ones i am yeah. yeah i'm gonna have it tonight um so yeah i've got to now find room over here back to the fridge got me slim fast shakes there this is lovely the schlaw zero it's like a grape juice cranberry juice no added sugar oh bless them my mum bought that do you remember yeah just before right. she passed away she bought me some prune juice um got me avocado no not avocado don't mango like mangoes. no i don't like avocado. Like avocado i did try it but didn't like it Ugh. um yeah mango right so got some milk big milk there and clover light up there up here is where the eggs are supposed to go but it's so high i can't really reach it hence they're just up there and it's easy for me so there we go the fridge has had a makeover <laughs> okay so it's time for contestant ready contender. oh yeah what is it contender. oh yeah it's time, I, I won't edit this, I'll just leave it in because it makes me look stupid and that's funny. Okay, so it's time for Contender. Ready? <laughs> Gladiator. Ready? Uh, 
What's that? I like that. Okay. Basically, it's time for gladiators, um, which is on the screen now. <laughs> the dog next door is barking his head off. Yeah, he's watching. Like, oh, 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 oh. Maybe he's excited for gladiators. Right, so we'll see you after the show. Oh, and then I've got the mask singer. You're going to go on your laptop for a bit. No doubt, look up now and again, see who's under the mask. Yeah, I've got to do um, bits and pieces. Morrison's order. Yeah, you need to do the Morrison's order. Don't forget, please put some carrots, carrots. on the list for me. They don't sell them with a chocolate fix, do they? They do, that's where we get them from. Oh, that is them? Yeah. Oh, I like them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the low-fat oat milk. Do you need to write this down? No, I'll remember that. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, right. So, Gladiators, Masked Singer, see you later. Hey everyone, good morning. It's Sunday, the time is five past eleven. I've been up about ten minutes. Well, officially I woke up about eight o'clock, but I was like, I am not getting up this early. So I did force myself back to sleep and I've only just got up. So yeah, nice little bit of a lay-in on a Sunday. I don't know what it is, I really struggle to have lay-ins like as an adult. When I was a kid, I would lay in bed all morning, like, you know, and now as an adult, I just wake up early. Whether it's that my body clock is just used to, like, getting up every day for work, I don't know what it is, I just wake up early. Anyhow, I'm up, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, so what I'm going to do is quickly walk around to um, Lidl supermarket, because I need some bananas and I also need, um, I really like their yogurts, their low-fat yogurts. And I might have a look what other um, low-fat yogurts they do as well. But I really wanted to go today. We are doing Morrison's order. So I've put some yogurts and other fruit and that on there. But we won't get that till Thursday. And I haven't got any bananas at all and the yogurts. So I thought, well, do you know what? And also get me some steps. I can do some walking, get some fresh air, clear my mind a bit. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to quickly, um, I've just put a sort of t-shirt on. I'm going to put some trainers on in a minute and then just walk to Lidl. But yeah, I just, oh, another weird night of weird dreams. It is literally driving me mad. Oh, just, mm, just horrible, horrible dreams. Normally involving my mum. Um, I like it when I have lovely dreams of her, like, that's so comforting. But lately they've just been really weird. Like in last night's dream, she was kidnapped and I heard her voice on the phone and I was like, oh, she's alive, she's alive. And then I realised, yeah, she wasn't dead, she was alive, but she'd been kidnapped. It was just, it was really horrible. And then like lots of like medical related things, probably due to my medical anxiety and stuff. I don't know, it's just been horrible dreams lately and stressing me out. And I wake up and I'm like, ooh, just still thinking about them. And anyway, so I think the best thing I need to do is just get out, get a bit of fresh air. No, go to a shop <laughs> and then I'm going to come back um, have some breakfast. I might have a slim fast shake for breakfast and some toast, maybe a little bit of mango as well. Um, I don't have my slim fast milkshakes every day. I just do them sort of every sort of few days. My sinuses feel really bad as well, quite clicky. Mm. Clicky in my jaw and my ears. My nose sounds a bit nasally. Oh, mm. My sinuses always get worse when, number one, I'm around a load of dust, which we are at the moment, because obviously all the rooms are getting sorted, so there's lots of dust everywhere. And we're moving stuff, which has got dust on it, and and also when it's cold, and it is quite cold, so. Yeah. Anyway, right, I'm rambling. I'm going to get ready and go a little. Just in little. So far, I've got some kale, some bananas, pineapple, and a honeydew melon. Just looking at this, look, a 72 pack of Weetabix. That is quite good. Uh, limited offer, 649. That is a really good offer. Well, I think it is, look. So I do have Weetabix pretty much most days now. Um, high in fibre, low in sugar and salt, whole grain, wheat. Yeah, how many um, Weetabix do you have? I used to have three, but now I've been told that two's the best thing, so I have two. That is a blooming good offer. I'm going to get them. <laughs> Only come for bananas and some yogurt, and there we go. Um, all right, okay, where are we going? Where are we going? What am I looking for? Oh, the yogurts I want. Always have a quick look in the old middle aisle. The middle aisle filled with randomness. 
exercise ball. I was looking at some of these, but I worry that I will um, just fall off the ball and that'll just be really funny and embarrassing. 27 quid. I wonder how you pump it up though. Do you need like a special pumper? Pump it up. You got to pump it up. Um, I don't know. Doesn't actually say. Hold on. I think it actually comes with one deflating tube, plugs, air pump. Oh, it comes with all the stuff. Oh, hold on. All right, tells you how weight you've got to be. I don't know if I am that. 120. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. I'll leave that. I might look into it though, because this is supposed to be really good, like sit ups and stuff. Uh, what else they've got? Exercisey. Power bands. A foam roller. What do you do with that? Stretching. Oh, Pilates, yoga, etc. Nah. Nah. I saw this last time I was in here. I'm quite interested. I've all got my like crystals and stuff, but I just never use them. This includes a uh, wall chart and book and over 45 wisdom cards. I haven't got the spare money for things like that at the moment. I don't mind spending my spare money on my food because it's, you know, especially if it's decent food, but you know, but be careful with it all. I was like, oh, what's this? I know it's for kids, but you know, might be good. And then I saw it's got peas in it and I was like, nah, 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 nah. Mighty purple, smoothie with tasty veg, plums, blueberries, carrots, bananas, beetroot, and blackberries, hidden veg. <laughs> It's a good way of getting kids and me to eat stuff when it's all hidden. Just seeing if it says how many calories in it. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Collapsible dish rack. <laughs> it's clever. Alright, the yogurts. Ah, oh, these are the ones. I love these. Right, so they are called split pots. Fruit yogurts. So you get strawberry and peach and apricot. And look, they're just absolutely amazing quite low calories compared to other ones and they just taste nice so 17th of February that's quite a long date so that's good I'm gonna see what other yogurty ones they've got saw this but like this is 197 calories per pot I can get a lot less calorie ones than that my protein pudding I don't know what that is chocolate flavor mm. I just don't understand all this stuff people say you've got to have a load of protein to lose weight and I, I, I don't get why like or I'm worried that if I have things with high protein I'll have too much protein in me and then I'll freak out I don't understand it all I mean this sounds absolutely absolutely amazing look high protein chocolate and vanilla side by side low fat no added sugar but let's have a look at the calories so 122 is that per pot I assume or is that 81 no per pot yeah so 122 calories, that's not too bad compared to other um, desserts like, but I just don't get all this higher protein. Why do you need protein to make you lose weight? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. My chocolate desserts, I've been having, um, what are they called? The Muller chocolate fix. They're like 70 calories and they taste really nice. So I, I just don't know. If anyone knows all this stuff, like why is high protein or whatever protein good for you if you're losing weight? Let me know, because I just, I don't understand it. Don't get it. If I should have it, I don't mind having it, but I just don't know why. I'm seeing my nurse this week at the practice. I might ask her about all this protein stuff. I don't really like lemon yogurt. I mean, that's what I would prefer. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Oh God, profiteroles and naughty stuffs. Get away. Is this like a low fat donut? <laughs> what is this? Have what you crave. Fibre one, 90 calories, donut, chocolate flavour. What is this? So I look for stuff for Nathan as well that he might have that's naughty but not naughty, if that makes sense. Craving for a sweet treat, but you watch what you eat, yes. Fibre one, 90 calorie donuts, indulge your craving with your favourite ring donuts without the guilt. Delicious, high in fibre, each donut is covered with a smooth icing, generously topped with crunchy sprinkles. I might get them, you know, so you can try one. How many calories though are they? Oh, only, yeah, 90. 90 calories, that ain't bad. Hmm, okay. Harvest snaps. Ah, oh, the oat milk. 
Let's have a look at this. Urgh. There's so many different ones. Oh, unsweetened, 100% plant-based. All right, per 100 mil, 39 calories. Um, yeah, apparently oats are really good for me. They've got all different vitamins that I need and stuff. Oh, it's green and orange. Let's give this a go. Oh, unsweetened. That's what my mum used to have, but I don't think these vegetarian. Obviously, my mum wasn't a vegetarian, so it didn't bother her, but like, yeah, hmm. She used to have the low-fat jellies as a little treat, but yeah, they're not vegetarian. Seeing if they've got any angel to like butterscotch, but they haven't. I only like butterscotch. Well, I wanted to get some... Oh. Okay, now all this has got to get on here. When I was a kid, I used to line everything up in a complete row, like that. <laughs> Uh, I used to go mad. She's like, what are you doing, Laura? And I'd be like, everything needs to be in a row, in an order. <sighs> oh, nearly done. Bananas and my melon, which I've got to pick up. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Woo! Right, oh, God, the melon's <laughs> on the floor. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my. What is going on? <laughs> right, okay, so I'm just going to pay for this. See in a bit. Okay, so I just had a really nice shower. Um, I have put my pajamas on, on my t-shirt because you know it's Sunday, Sunday slob day. I like to be comfortable in the house on a Sunday. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm going to spend all day in my pajamas, and I don't care. Wearing pajamas, I don't care. Anyway, um, I'm just eating a piece of with a spoon mango. Very nice. It's going to be my new fruit obsession. Love it. Apparently, a little bit of mango every day is good for you. In moderation. Um, talking about moderation, Nathan has just helped me, and we've ordered some kitchen electric kitchen scales, so I can weigh, um, you know, what I'm having. So I think, with, with, like, with regards to my vegetables, I think, oh, it's good. I'm having loads of veg. Maybe I'm having too much, you know. So I can weigh. The exact amount and well not just veg anything fruit yeah, kind of cheese Everything's anything that i eat and i think oh am i having too much of that am i not so yeah i'm gonna pick them up from argos tomorrow morning um i'm having some mango and then we're gonna go in the garden for a bit got a few things to do out there um i have to get the gardener soon yeah, make it tidy, yeah, tidy. um yeah but yeah, so that is the plan. Having me mango. I'm going to go in the garden. And then I've got YouTube stuff to do. So I've got editing, comments to reply to, upload videos, blah, 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 blah. So a lot of YouTube work to do. So that is the plans for the next sort of hour or so. Mm. Honestly, if you've never tried a mango, try it. It's lovely. Do you want a bit of mango? No, I'm okay, thank you. I'm sure? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. Not him. <laughs> It feels like I've been editing for ages. That's because I have. have I have been editing for ages. for ages and doing video premiere, doing my comments, all that. Um, I'm just now about to have a cup of green tea. There it is. In my cauldron cup. I love this. It's probably one of my favourite mugs. Yeah. And you know where it's from? Poundland. Poundland, cauldron mug. But it's really cool. Wee, but... I use it all year round because yeah. I'm, a, I'm a witch. A I'm witch. a Jewish witch. A Jewish. A Jewish. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've got my green tea in here. Nathan has very kindly made me, or as I call it, dirt tea. It like yeah, I still don't really like it, but it is good for me, so I'm going to keep having it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just having a green tea, uh, still finishing up this YouTube stuff. And then, you know what I can finally do? Well, you've I can done actually have a read. So you've done edit and read. read, yeah. I can actually have a nice little read of my book, The Wishing Game, um, which I'm really enjoying, actually, but I just feel like I just had no time to read it, but... I'm gonna, and that's that. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I was quite naughty. I had quite a big sort of, I don't know, is it lunch, dinner? What is it, dinner? dinner lunch. Lunch. Yeah, I just went a bit mad. Now I feel really guilty and sad. You've got no calories left. Got, for the, well, <laughs> I've got about 860 calories left for the night. Yeah. And that's before I've done anything on the bike. Mm. I haven't been on the bike, but I really don't think I'm going to do much on the bike because I can't bother. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, um, 
And it's not like I had anything bad. Like I literally had a jacket of potato with sweet corn and mushrooms grated up. I like grated mushroom. Chicken Vegetarian chicken slices and baby bell. Yeah. But mayo. yeah, it's the sauce, the mayo, the peri peri. I was just so hungry. But it's still, it's all right. It's okay. I've still got calories left for the night. Which means you've got to have a really small. Really dinner small. Dinner, dinner, dinner. But what happens is I go on the bike mm. and it makes me hungry afterwards. Mm. And that's why you have your dinner straight after the bike. Yeah. Oh, it's awful, isn't it? Why can't I be one of them people that people. just eat yeah. what they want you know, and them. don't put on a pound? They're still not healthy. Yeah, I suppose. It's just because they're just slim, don't they say they're healthy? Exactly. So I've got a friend who remain nameless who she eats crap. She yeah. she admits it. Yeah. Chocolates, biscuits, what you know, coffees. Yeah. She don't put on a pound. Me, I literally have like one biscuit and put on a stone or something. You know what I mean? It's not like maybe not a stone, yeah. but it's horrible. It's not fair. Yeah. yeah, your brother, he probably don't eat great. No. But he's Slim. thin. He's really thin. It's not fair. I miss the days I can just eat what I want. I do. I know it's sad, but I just do. Just want to. I miss cake. Yeah, I miss cake. I miss just going to Sainsbury's and like getting pizza, pizza and and custard tarts mm-hmm. and like profit roll desserts now we're just like... and garlic bread and mash <laughs> and just putting shit loads of cheese on everything, cheddar. I could, I could make well, it's no point because I have. The th- yeah, but it's still not great, is it? I don't know because I had milk in it, and can I... you can't have mash without milk. It's weird. You skimmed milk. Yeah, I suppose you could try skimmed milk. It's just I don't know. I just feel like ever since I've been on this diet, I think about food more than I ever did. Yeah. Normally, I just think oh, I'm hungry. I'll have something to eat, and that's that. Yeah, now I'm just like, like <sighs> how many calories I got? What one for dinner? It's awful. Is this normal for us? Well, I don't know. But do you, you think of food more now that we're dieting? Yeah. Than we did before? Yeah, I just don't talk about it much. No, I talk about it all the time. I can't get it out of my head. I just want to eat. <laughs> and I can't. It's shit. Sorry. Well, you could, but you wouldn't be the biggest loser then. No. Yeah, but I've also got this fear for Tuesdays. The, the scale day. Yeah. I hate it. I hate getting on it. And last week I lost three pounds, which is good. Yeah. It's not going to happen this week. No, no, no. I reckon it will. No, I don't. Not that I've been really... I haven't even been bad. I've been under calories every day. Exactly. But I just... Oh, it's just really irritating me. I oh, can't I just be thin and but that's eat shit. The scales as well. The kitchen scales. Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, I've been having really bad portions. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Thinking that it's healthy. Like, oh, I'll have a load of broccoli. Oh, I'll have a load of cabbage. Yeah, but in moderation. I'm having like a whole bloody plate of veg, yeah. thinking, oh, well, that's good. It's veg, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. It's all right when it's a lot of different veg, but yours is just two different veg. Cauliflower, broccoli, and cabbage, yeah. three. Yeah. Just laid out on a big old plate. Like a, mountain. a mountain of veg. Only because yeah. I thought they were like, honestly, I thought something like broccoli was on like 10 calories for a load of it. It's not. It's not. So that's, you know, that's something I'm going to change this week. I'll have less of that. But then I'm going to be hungrier because I'll have less veg. Yeah, but your stomach eventually gets used to that. But I ain't going to get used to it for a while, sweetheart. No, and you've just got to deal with it. I can't deal with it. I'll get hungry. Well, it's either that or I'll just laugh at you when, you, when I'm the winner. No. Because I'm going to go, oh, yeah, look at The me. biggest I'm loser the biggest contest loser. between me and you. You can lose the most. I'm the biggest loser. And I'll be like, you, yeah, you can have as much as you want to. Keep doing them. Exercise. Trying to get this. See, look, when I do it that angle, it doesn't even look that bad. Oh no, here it it is. Look, it's this. It's this. It just sucks. Anyway, um, right, rest of the evening. I might actually end the vlog now, to be fair, because I'm in a, I'm in a grumpy, I'm in a grumpy bloody mood. Not with you. We're fine. But it's food. Give me the food. I just want oh, food. Um, <laughs> us on no cake. It's day twenty. Day twenty-eight in the Big Brother house of having it's no cake. Yeah. No cake. 
no cake. Right. Scratching on the walls, like. But it is hard if you're used to all that stuff and then you're not got any. It's just weird. And them skinny bakery cakes, I'll be honest. I mean, that you know, they weren't cheap. Well, they weren't expensive. They were £4 for that little pot. Yeah. But my problem is, they were so tiny. It was like that. Oh, well, 40 calories. Yeah, the hot chocolate. My cup of hot chocolate, 40 calories. Which is 40 calories. What have you got the options? Highlights. No, oh, no, I have options, you have highlights, yeah. calories per cup it is. Yeah, that fills you up. And that's more substantial than that small, tiny cake. Yeah. And, and the same amount of calories. Yeah, nice. yeah. And that does me. Yeah. And also I find they're so small, you think, I'll oh, just have another one. I mean, I haven't. I've been good. I've been good. I've only had the one. Yeah, but you could eat them. I could eat a few, yeah. I love the cookie and cream one. You're down for the biscuits. I oh, know. I don't think I should buy them. Because they're in there. Chocolate digestive. McVit is only. I'm a snob. You're not. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, what I've been doing, I've been going out and just getting a little, like, breaking it and just but going... It all adds up to, like, two biscuits a day. No, it's not adding two biscuits. It's more like one biscuit a day. Sometimes when you're off asleep, you go... Yeah, well, yeah, at night I've been creeping out there, yeah. So maybe if I just don't buy them... Don't buy them, you can't eat them. Yeah, I suppose so. And if I do need, actually... I mean, I'm not looking in the back cupboard because that's... You've still got all the Ferrero Rocher's from looking. Christmas. I'm not looking. No. Yeah, but you could have one a day if you wanted to. Looking, yeah. yeah. That's for desperation. Oh, it's just sad, isn't it? Each row of a show, I don't know. Nathan is now looking. Um, but yeah, I'll end the vlog now. The rest of the evening, I'm just going to have a read, relax, got some eBay. I can't be bothered to do that eBay, to be honest with you. I really, I'm not in the mood for it, but maybe in like an hour's time, I can just sit and do it or something. I just need some time to relax and read. I just want to bloody book. read my book. I feel like I hardly read anymore, and I'm a bookworm. It's really yeah, sad. Okay. Um, and that's pretty much it for the rest of the evening. So I might as well just end the vlog now. Um, we've got any shows on tonight? Are we just gonna watch something? I I'd just, I'd be happy to just read. To be fair, maybe that's sad. Yeah. I've got to go on the bike as well. Yeah. I'll do that. You're gonna go on the bike today, yeah. or yeah. Nathan is just quick, quickly looking up a Ferrero Rocher calorie amount. One Ferrero Rocher is 74 calories. 74 calories for one? Yeah. I could have one of them little bag of baby milk buttons for like 100. Yeah. Yeah. That's bad. They are very fattening then. <clears throat> just chuck them away. I don't actually. It's still less than one of your biscuits, mate. How much is it? Yeah. A chocolate, I've got a spot coming up. A chocolate yeah, digestive yeah. is 80. I wonder if they do, bub, mm -hmm. chocolate digestive lights. Like, light, half fat or whatever. Yeah. I can't not have a chocolate biscuit. Like, I've got so much better with everything, right? Like, cheese and this and that and this. But to not have any chocolate biscuits to nibble on at all, it's, it's, it's hell. It's hell. It's not hell, but it's... You know what I mean? I'm sure my mum used to get some form of light chocolate biscuit. Digestive. I only like chocolate mm. digestives. I'm not interested in this, this. I just want a chocolate digestive. Anyway, don't forget, everyone. Please click like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR, my other channel. Links down below to that. As are all the links to my social media platforms. Come and follow me on those. Um, yeah, I have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me. Please do. And I also have a Goodreads page if you're a bookworm. Come and follow me on there. So, yeah. Anything? Any luck with the live fat biscuits? Oh, it's just awful. But, I'm oh, actually, I could have a, one of my hot chocolates, my options. That's only 40 calories. Exactly. They do sell light ones. Oh, who sells a chocolate light? Only by the looks of it. Tesco. Tesco. Mm -hmm. Can't really get there. So many shops that we don't like. We don't really get Tesco's. Our online deliveries are either I send or Morrison's yeah. now. Um, as done and again, mm. but really it's Morrison's. We seem to be using them a lot lately. Yeah. And obviously, I go to Sainsbury's. So. But no, Tesco's haven't got them either. Oh no, I haven't got them anyway. They haven't got them anyway. <sighs> Sad. So no one does them anymore. No. Maybe they.
when they're popping off. I don't know, I just, it's hard. I mean, I'm laughing about it, but it is, it's really, so, it's a head duck. Head duck. Yeah. Because I just, I just, I'm yeah. craving it. Yeah. And there's one. nothing we can do about it. There's no, they don't even do fake light ones, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Still want to try them things I got today in Lidl, them yeah. donuts. Yeah. 90 calories a donut. Mm -hmm. High fibre. You checked all the fats and that wasn't that bad either. Yeah. That could be something. But it's still not the same as a biscuit. I just want a little something at night or in the day. I'll just have a little bit of a biscuit. You could have two Jaffa cakes. That's 80 calories for two Jaffa cakes. Nah, I don't like because it's a sticky bit. Mm. That's why I prefer a chocolate digestive. Mm. What about normal digestives? Normal. It's not as fun, is it? <laughs> it's not as fun. I have got them uh, low-fat digestives I bought the other day in Poundland, but I haven't had any of them. I just keep going to the chocolate ones. Digestive light. I do normal digestive, but light. Ah, normal dis digestive light. Yeah. I mean... They are 68 calories for the biscuit. There's not much the difference, is it? Might as well have a bit of chocolate on it. Exactly. I mean, look, to be fair, I used to come in with like two or three biscuits at a time and have chocolate in the daytime and have a Yazoo chocolate milkshake. I don't have any of them now. So, you know, you need a little something treaty. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it's boring. You just live off carrots. Yeah, it would be good, but it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> I can't see anything. No, it's sad, isn't it? Maybe like my Holland and Barrett, I went in the other day yeah. and it was just over it, like really expensive. The staff were miserable and stuck up. Sorry if you work there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but some of their stuff made it look like it was really healthy. But when you yeah. look into it, I, re I rang you up, didn't I? And said, yeah. oh, is this good? And you looked it up and you went, no, it's got high this, high that. It's not actually good. It's a con. It's not, yeah. There is a brand that does the low sugar ones. I think your mum used to have them. Yeah, blue, blue, blue packet. packet, yeah. Goulon. Yeah, where do they sell that? I think they do them at home bargains and yeah. stuff like that. They do all the low yeah, stuff. that's right. But then you have to be careful with that because mum used to have them and it'd always give her a bellyache because she was, it's all the sweeteners in it. Mm -hmm. can't, it. can't win. Yeah, no, I don't know what to do. Anyway, if anyone else is on a diet, let me know. Is it just me? You know, does it make you feel a bit rubbish? Sometimes I feel really positive because I'm like, yeah, I'm doing really well. And then my vlogs, I'm like, yeah. But some days I feel like this, just really sad about it all. <laughs> I just want to be slim without having to do slim. anything. Yeah. But you've got to work at it. Work you can't it. put all this on and then go, well, why won't it go away overnight? You've got to work at it. No, it needs to go away overnight and then I can eat it. Yeah, true. <laughs> anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me a weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.